welcome back to another video. Glad you're sticking with us. Today we're going to get into one of my favorite things and that's ice cream. We're going to make what I think is probably the most salacious, delicious ice cream you've ever experienced. It's called Salted Caramel Toffee Crunch. We're going to take you through the three steps to put it all together, show you why this works so well together. It's one of my favorite things to make. One thing I like about it is the fact that you can control so many variables in it. And that's what we're going to talk about. Salt content, making that caramel from scratch, don't buy it from the can. Make it from scratch. Do yourself that favor. That's what we try to do here at Salacious Spoon. One home cooked to another. We celebrate food. We elevate food. So today, let's get into that salted caramel toffee crunch. And if you like what we're doing, please click that subscribe button below. Hit the like button and leave comments, please. I want your feedback. And also, if you want to get alerted about new videos, please hit that alert button. For now, let's talk ice cream. So let's start with the caramel. We want to have the caramel ready so that when the ice cream base is about set and ready to go in the fridge, we're going to mix in the caramel with it and let it all chill together. So for the caramel, get a pot. You want something, I would say probably a three quart pot. You want it a little bit bigger than you might think you need because the caramel is going to bubble up. You're going to in that pot put one cup of sugar and a quarter cup of water. That's it. You don't have to stir it. You don't have to mix it. Just put it in the pot. Put it over a high heat. The trick to caramel is paying attention to when the sugar starts boiling. When it starts boiling and cooking, it'll go from that wonderful caramel, amber type color to burn very fast. So use your nose, use your eyes, use your senses, because that's part of the, the joy of cooking, letting all those senses get involved. Watch the sugar. When it gets ready to start boiling, that's when you want to pull it off the heat and have the other ingredients ready. And those ingredients you want to have handy are three quarter cups of heavy cream, about three tablespoons of butter. You probably want to cut it into at least three pieces. You want to have about a one and a half teaspoons to a tablespoon of salt, depending on how salty you like the caramel. And you want to have about one or two tablespoons of vanilla extract. Have those ready so that when the ingredients come together, you can get them all mixed in once that, once that sugar comes off the burner. So now, keep an eye on the sugar, starts to get to an amber color, get it off the heat. First thing you want to do is immediately put the little heavy cream in there. You're going to see it bubble up a lot, but you want to be whisking from the instant you're pouring the cream in. You want a good whisk, fast whisking going all around so that it doesn't just turn into a clump of sugar. Keep it moving, it'll be very smooth, it'll turn into a nice caramel. And once it settles in, you're going to see it's a caramel, it's now a caramel texture for you. And that's really caramel right there. But why are we going to stop there? Let's get some more flavor into that caramel. While it's still warm, hot, go ahead and put the butter in. Get that butter melted and incorporate it in there. Then add the vanilla, add the salt, and get the salt level to where you want. And the caramel is pretty much done. That's it. Just keep it moving. The, the real trick to caramel is two things. You're gonna watch the sugar so that it doesn't burn. When you get it off the sugar, you get those ingredients in there quickly and get it mixed up because sugar will harden fast the second something cool starts hitting it. So we're gonna keep it moving. So the caramel's ready. Set that to the side and let it stay warm on the stove and let's get that ice cream base going. For the ice cream, this is gonna be a very warm, kind of custardy sort of texture we want with the ice cream. So we're gonna use eight egg yolks. Go ahead and separate those eight egg yolks. To the egg yolks, you wanna add about one to two cups of sugar, depending on how sweet you like your ice cream. I generally lean towards the two cup size. Just wanna get that into the egg yolks and just whisk them together until they turn to a nice bright color and are incorporated. Now, here's a trick. If you want your ice cream to be a little stiffer in the freezer and doesn't melt as fast when you take it out, add a couple of tablespoons of cornstarch to this mixture right here. If not, and you like a nice soft ice cream that's going to melt really fast for you, then leave the cornstarch out. But for now, we're going to do it this way, just the eggs and the sugar. Get them whisked together, and while they're whisking, in another pot, I want you to take three cups of heavy cream and one cup of half and half. 
get it in that pot and on a medium high heat, just get it to where it's starting to gently boil. You don't want to scald in your boiling. Just to where it's very warm and hot to where you start to see a little bit of bubble. Getting ready to boil, but do not let it boil. Don't burn your milk. And once that's set, you're going to take that hot cream and you want to slowly incorporate it into your egg yolks. You do not want to pour it all at once because you don't want it to cook the egg because it's too hot. So pour a little in, whisk it in, and get it aerated and get the eggs tempered. Once they're tempered, you can go and gradually add the rest of the cream to it. It doesn't take long, again, just a couple of seconds to mix that all together to get it incorporated. Once it's together, just pour it back into the pot and let it get to about a temperature of 165 to 175 degrees. You want to get it nice and tempered so it starts to get that custardy process going, but you don't want it to turn into a pudding. Get it off the heat and again make sure you've been stirring it constantly and while it's warm add that caramel to it. Take that caramel and just get it nice and incorporated in there. Once that's all set up get it into your vessel whatever you're going to store it in and let it sit at room temperature I would say about 30 minutes just to get that initial extra heat off of it. Then you want to let it rest in the fridge for about I would say about an hour to get that chill off and then cover it. And at that point, you want to let it completely chill at least four hours. I typically like to make this the night before and then just chill overnight and then I can turn it the next day. So, once it's chilled overnight or at least four hours, so it's very cold, get your ice cream maker ready according to your ice cream maker's instructions and get it churning. Just churn that ice cream, let it work its magic. And once your ice cream is ready, that's when we're gonna add our final secret ingredient, and also secret, toffee crunch. Go ahead and add that toffee crunch in there in the last, you know, once it's ready and it's the last minute or so churning, just let that toffee crunch incorporate in there. And once it's incorporated, get it all into the freezer and let it chill completely. One little trick you may wanna consider is throwing your toffee bits in the freezer while your ice cream is chilling so that they're very cold as well because any source of warmth in that ice cream is going to take away that churning process. So if you can, throw the toffee bits in the freezer at the same time you're tossing your ice cream in the fridge. So that's all there is to it. Make a caramel, make your ice cream base, and after you churn it all together, add your toffee bits. That is it, and it becomes this incredibly magical bite. With that said, go forth, enjoy your ice cream, share with your family, share with your friends, share this video with them so they can make it as well. Don't be shy, spread the love, because that's what we're doing here. One home cook to another. Let's support each other in the community. Until the next video, thanks again for watching.